Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever the case may be for you. This is Rusty with the Masters Lawn Care and with another quick tip on Gainesville lawns. Today we're in the middle of winter. Here we are at about December 15th and we're looking at what does frost damage look like in zoysia grass. The common question I get this kind of year, this time of year, is why does my yard look like a tiger stripe? Why does my yard look like snakes have gone through it? What kind of pest is eating my yard in these funky uh, patterns? And we're going to take a look at what this looks like and, and what causes that. Let's take a look in the walk. So it is common this time of year. We're out here in Turnberry Lake. This is zoysia grass. Uh, we're in Turnberry Lake just off of 241. And as you can see, it almost has a pattern like a tiger stripe or like a, uh, like a mole has been just kind of digging all kind of tunnels in the yard. There's bright green next to dark uh, brown dormant grass. And it's really all across this zoysia lawn. So what this comes from is the frost laying unevenly on grass. So it sounds weird, uh, but the frost falls from the sky during a really cold night. We just had a couple freezing uh, evenings past week and it sits on the lawn unevenly and it actually damages, not damages like kills it, but damages the turf, makes it go dormant in certain areas. And then the heat from the earth and from the soil stays in some areas and keeps it green. And so it ends up being this tiger strike effect. Now this will grow right out of the lawn uh, in spring. As soon as it warms up and greens up, this will be consistently green. You won't even know this happened. But for the first couple months after a frost, it's going to be pretty apparent what's going on. Once again, this is Rusty with the Masters Lawn Care, and I hope this is helpful for you in identifying frost stress in Gainesville lawns, specifically zoysia grass. Again, if you have this happening in your lawn, there's nothing you can do. You don't want to fertilize. You don't want to do anything like that because most likely we're going to have some more frost in the evenings to come. It's just a matter of preparing for spring and letting, uh, getting used to that. You can cover it up if you wanted to do like a winter rye, but I'll be honest with you, most people just wait for spring and let it ride out. All right, have a blessed day. If we can be of help, give us a call, 378-5296, and create a great day.